Extinction for Kids There are many kinds of plants and animals that used to exist on Earth but are no longer alive today. They are extinct, like dinosaurs. Today, the only things we have left of dinosaurs are bones or fossils. And the same is true for thousands of other species. So, what happened to them? And why do plants and animals go extinct in the first place? Let's find out. The world is full of different plant and animal species. A species is a certain group of living organisms that share common traits and can reproduce or create more members with each other. And when a species is no longer able to reproduce, it becomes extinct. Extinction is usually something that happens slowly, over a long period of time. But sometimes it can happen super fast, over a short period of time. This is called mass extinction. And that is what happened to the dinosaurs. About 65 million years ago, most scientists believe that nearly all of the species that had been alive on Earth including the dinosaurs, disappeared at the same time because of a large asteroid that collided with the Earth. There are also species that have become extinct when they lose their ability to adapt to changes in the environment, face new predators, or no longer have access to the food they need to survive. This is the kind of extinction we mentioned earlier that takes place slowly over a long period of time. Here's a fascinating fact. Humans can be a direct cause of extinction. Behaviors like overhunting, habitat destruction, and moving non-native species into an area where they are not usually found are the main ways this happens. For example, let us take a look at the dodo bird. The dodo bird died out because it became food for non-native species, like pigs and cats which were moved by humans into the dodo's habitat. Today, blue whales are facing extinction because humans are overhunting them. Polar bears, too, are threatened with dying out because climate change is affecting their habitat. Plants also face extinction and at a much faster rate than animals. In fact, more than eight plant species have disappeared every three years on average, since the year 1900. That is a much faster extinction rate than that of animals. Human activities, like cutting down forests or deforestation, contribute to these plants dying out. The types of animals and plants in danger of becoming extinct are also called endangered species. When a species is endangered, they may soon die out and no longer exist. Some endangered species today include the giant panda, mountain gorilla, black rhino, the Bengal tiger, and many others. Even though there will always be animals and plants that become extinct, there are definitely some ways that you can help prevent it. Simple things like recycling, saving energy, planting a garden, or sponsoring an endangered animal can help prevent the extinction of some of the species in the world. Cool, right? Now that you know more about extinction and its causes, let's review. True or false? Mass extinction happens slowly over a long period of time. False. Mass extinction happens quickly over a short period of time like what happened to the dinosaurs. Fill in the blank. One simple way you can help prevent animal extinction is by planting a blank. Garden! Which has a higher rate of extinction? Plants or animals? Plants! True or false? Climate change can be a cause of extinction. This is definitely true. What is a species called if it is in danger of becoming extinct? Endangered species. Great job, friends! 
extinction will always be a part of life on Earth. But there are small, simple things you can do every day to help prevent the extinction of some species. The next time you admire the plants outside or visit animals at the zoo, remember what you have learned and share it with your friends. Together, we can make the world a better, happier place for every living thing. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.